Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Isn't it great to be here with you? Actually, I wanted to take my hat off today, and uh, maybe it's a St. Patty's uh, hat, uh, but whatever it is, to so many of you who get in touch with me, write to me and message me for saying thank you for the messages of last week. And today I got a message, uh, I got a call actually, I was uh, driving to work and someone messaged me and I called them back and it was, I would like to know if uh, there is a way that I can have a session with you because there are so many things happening in my life that is a negative and it keeps happening over and over and I need help with by all means. And that's what I want to talk to you about is are things happening in your life that it's like a repetition and if it is a negative, it happens consequently uh, back to back and it's just like a boomerang that I talk about and when something good is happening it's like oh my god some suddenly everything good is happening and life is abundant and all the good things are happening is it a mistake are there consequences not consequences but are there um, is it like it's there is no consequence to certain thing and there are no mistakes in a way it's like serendipity what we call serendipity because it's supposed to happen it's the law of attraction it's the law of life and why am i saying this because the word consequences that means um is it a coincidence not consequences i'm so sorry <laughs> Let me start all over again. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. This is Lisa. Today I'm going to talk about not only consequences in the things that we do in life, but are there such thing as coincidences? When we think about the word coincidence, it's like it's in, in a sequence. And I believe there is no such thing as a coincidence because in everything in flow, we attract. And I also think that when I work with my clients and they say, this is my big dream and everything, when we dream big, it's awesome. But even the Tao talks about the Tao Ching talks about when you want to do something, you do it in small increments. So we create the sequence. And when we create the sequence with intention, there is no consequence. And we accept the consequences because we created it. And everything happens in sequence. So when you talk about someone who is in organizational leadership, they like to have everything organized, which today is National Organization Day. How everything. See, I'm telling you, there are no consequences because everything works in harmony. If we think about this bigger thing, and if you realize that in leadership, even in organization, they break a month down to four weeks and then to weekly, and then they put it in their calendar daily, and then they break down the daily into hourly, and that's how they schedule things in hours and some people in half an hour increments. So when it is so tight and everything is in order, you realize that everything is organized. In life, we do the same thing. We think about something, 
and that's what i was explaining what is it that you need healing because that's the work that i do as a clinical hypnotherapist is help you go from here to here transformation begins from that first idea and when we plan it when we decide that week after week this is what's going to happen and then allow things to flow because we cannot control it we just allow it so even when something happens we say if you do this the consequences will be that and accept the consequences it's not in a negative way but you can turn that instead of saying accept the consequences i take ownership of the results so when a client comes for let's say wanting to stop smoking and in four sessions which is four weeks they can become a non-smoker or having the anxiety uh, removed or lessened reducing the anxiety so they can control when the anxiety comes everything the consequences or the result of when you feel anxious becomes heart interpretation feeling out of a loss out of control that you're not in control of what's happening and that creates more anxiety and that anxiety becomes a physical reaction and when the physical reaction hits the mind says i am out of control i can't do this i don't know what's happening to me and when the mind starts going into this loop which is the con sequences con in itself means with right the sequence i'm breaking it down so you understand how the mind and the body work together the sequence becomes what we think and the sequential results of the body and the emotion connecting to it because everything consciously and subconsciously they work together so creating this consequential and recognizing that there is no coincidence i know this is a word game and yet these word games have a pure meaning and recognizing that there is nothing in your life there is nothing in our world that is out of order and when we come to a place that we allow flow to happen we come from this vibration and how i started few minutes ago of da, 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 to flow down to allowing it's slowing things down and when just like what is the origin of this word when we break things down we realize that the sequence that follows with one thought with one emotion with one reaction i can either slow it down or become one with it when you become one with it with the flow instead of the water that is going down the river and if you drop a beautiful either a paper um you know those little boats that you create or a origami flower or even just a regular flower a leaf or a lotus you drop it into this beautiful flowing river it always flows downwards it never goes upstream and the same thing as a boat the boat and the ship and everything always move forward they don't come backwards in the ocean so when we plow when you want to create something it's always stepping and moving forward in life the steps that you take if you have issues with your legs if you have things like that that it's happening there is no 
coincidences because your body is speaking to you. I talk about emotions and emotional eating at all times and how our emotions are connected to our food, to our drinking, smoking, and any habit that we have. As a matter of fact, my blog on elisabubari.com talks about the same thing. It's we go party, we eat, we drink, and then the consequences of that is we get sick, we have a hangover, and and if you resonate to this and you say, that's right, this is what happened to me, that's what I'm talking about. So before to even get there, it's understanding. The work that I do is for us to peel away and understand why you overeat, overdrink, oversmoke, overindulge in the habits that you have. And if there is an emotional connection to that, we shift the emotional connection to that habit or behavior. It's understanding the pattern, shifting the pattern, and then realizing you are the master of your mind and body, and you create the sequences. So when something happens, the consequences, you take ownership of it. It's a whole different mindset of organization in the mind. And if you relate to this, I want you to understand everything that you do when you start exercising and you your body starts loving the when you do the lifts and your body the flaps go away or become stronger and the muscle gets toned. You get to look at that and you go, I like that. And when you say, I like that, and you touch it, you're touching your own body. In a way, you are being kind, you are caressing, you are becoming self-assured, you're becoming stronger. And as you do, your confidence builds as much as your muscles are building. So the consequences which is when you take ownership of becoming healthy, stronger, confident, right? You realize the sequences that you create is I want to become stronger. I want to be more fit. I want to become healthier and I want to be free of the shackles of the past. And when we detach ourselves emotionally, to the stories, to the habits, behaviors that we created and we took ownership of it, things change. You can change the sequences of every thought, idea, concept, image, patterns, and detach yourself from the story of the past to creating what you desire today. Small steps, have a big picture in mind, and yet move one step at a time. One crunch, one lift, one push, one shift at a time. And that's the work that I do. Because when we tap into the subconscious mind, which stores all the thoughts, ideas, concepts, images, the story that you hold on to, you can tear it, put it aside, put it in the archive, and start a whole new way of being. That starts by healing within. And with this, I hope starting today, you take a whole new direction, shifting your mindset, do a reset to see the uh, sequences that you have created in your life that you still have, that it keeps repeating and say, what do I stop today? And what's the next step that I wanna take and organize not only your thoughts, 
organize your desk, reorganize and your environment to declutter and feel free to move around, have joy, smile and say, I matter. So that's today's message. Con sequences. Be with. Con is with and sequences is following. See what it is that you are following with and create your own healthier way. So until next week, I bid you goodbye. I wish you all the best. God bless you and may the universal light surround you always. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.